Hey, buddy! Gonna need your help with another one. Maybe the last one. Tempestuous Wind. Oh, I was sure that I would be alone in so remote a place. Pardon me for not greeting you sooner. I literally just got here, but thanks for your concern. <laughs> oh. oh ho, it's you, although I guess I shouldn't be surprised to see you here. I know a song about this place. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down this region? Yep. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado... He breaks the rocks that serve to bind above the tempestuous bay. On wings of cloth and wood entwined, he lands on the altar to open the way. Huh. The tempestuous bay from the song could be this very bay, but what sort of wings are made of cloth and wood? Mm. It's a juicy riddle, but one I may never puzzle out. Take care, may the light illuminate your path. Master of the Wind. Alright, so this seems fairly straightforward. There are wind gusts around this place, and we have to surf around the wind and land on the pedestal over there. The only hard part about this, seemingly, right off the bat, is that I don't know like where the starting point is. I guess it'll be right there at Cass, but that's not really denoted. And I don't know like how specific I have to be. Like, Can I just fly up there and land on the pedestal? From wherever would that count i don't know guys okay i'm gonna make this easy on myself <laughs> now i will say oh you motherfucker you've got to die i'm not putting up with this that's gonna be a tough shot there we go well, I was like, I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm really glad that I found this uh, quest in particular now when I have a full stamina meter. <laughs> this is the kind of thing that may have been a huge pain in the ass if we found this, like, earlier in the game. So, the wind gust... It does seem like it starts right here. Kind of pushes you off. Yeah, and then you want to hit these things to give you air. See, I just touched the ground right there. So, like, how pissed off is that gonna make the shrine quest? C can I just... Okay. Well, maybe this is trickier than it looks. You don't get a ton of air. Okay. Like, this looks like it's set up right here to be like a... Oh, did you fuck up? Here you go. Restart from this spot. And you'll be fine. And where does it go from here? Oh. Oh. More rocks to break. Okay. So I guess before we even try this, we should, like, make a circuit and break all the rocks. Oh, is that it? That goes through. Okay. Let's see what it looks like in here. Lots of crabs. Ooh, iron shell crabs. Arguably the best crabs. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. I know you had your little crabby paradise going on in here. Where nobody ever bothered you and you could live your crabby lives free of worry. And heartache and despair. There was a cool breeze blowing through at all times. You had all the water and fish that you wanted to dine on. But the good news is now you have a new life. Now you get to live in my pocket and serve me when I need you. Is that thing? That looks breakable. Okay. So we're definitely not done breaking rocks. Let's see. You should go right about there. Oh! I overshot and I fell. Try this again. Luckily, we've got plenty of rocks up here. That should do it, I think. Nope, still too much. Okay. This perspective is a little odd. It's a very steep perspective. How about from here? There we go. Okay, so... Right. 
so there's the pedestal. Um, I wonder if we got all the rocks we need at this point. We're going to start over there, fly through there, over to that updraft. From there we go through this middle rock area. I'm not sure where it wants us to go from there, though. It looks like the draft is pushing us back out towards the starting point. But that's not helpful. Let's reverse engineer it. Where's the pedestal? Oh. Yeah, see, there's not really any wind drafts that look like they're leading directly to it. Kind of makes me think, like, that would be the ending point right there. That'll give us a big boost up, and then we have to just float down to the pedestal. And from there, it looks like... There's not really any direct drafts leading to it, so I'm not sure how this is supposed to go, guys. And I don't know how anal they're going to be about it, either. If I had to guess, probably just anal enough to piss me off. <laughs> like, they wouldn't make you go through the process of breaking those rocks and opening up the airways if they weren't going to be sticklers about it, right? That's how it seems to me, anyway. Alright, so... Fly through there. Oh, see, it just drops you right the hell there. I was trying to, like, course correct to miss the rocks. But it's like pushing you right into the rock. Alright, so... Back here, through these rocks. Yeah, that, that... You hit that. What happens if we just go straight through? Does this carry me? No. It doesn't carry you there. Is it pushing me out this way? This is tricky. I'm not gonna lie about it. I will not lie to you guys. And see, from here, like, that's not even a big updraft. That's gonna be... Oof. We have to hit this in just the right way, I guess. But before we can even do that, we gotta figure out what the right path is. Get the fuck up there, Link. <laughs> Alright, starting from here... Keep our stamina full. Oh, there's an updraft right to my left there. Okay, that's the first thing I'm missing. So veer left and hit that updraft. And then... Come over here, hit this updraft. That gives me clearance to get between these rocks. Hit that. And then from here... Left? Mm. It's so hard to even reach that spot with the air that you need. I gotta practice this whole thing, guys. <laughs> it's inherently annoying because trying to come back, the wind's fighting you the whole way. Really? Here? I thought I heard a noise like a Yiga guy was coming at me. I guess not. Okay. So... Is that... No, that doesn't seem right now, because that's, like, out of the way. This sucks. Alright, from here, let's go left. No, I don't think that's right. I don't think it's... Oh! Oh, there's another fucking cluster of rocks. Oh, you assholes. Oh, so now it's just bringing me straight out through there. Straight to the pedestal. If I'm reading that right, we don't even have to bother with the side on the left. It's just a big U-turn that just cuts through the middle. Is that right? 
Is that correct? I am not sure. Hmm. Um, yeah, it looks like it's... There's a big-ass current pushing you straight out from the middle now. So theoretically, we don't even have to mess with the left side. Maybe there's, like, multiple starting points, and that's why there's currents on the other side, too, in case you want to do it the other way. Alright, can I get straight there? Will you let me do that? You're not gonna let me do that. I still don't know how they want me to navigate this first part, but if I start from right here, it's not that hard if they'll let me actually get away with that. That's the whole question. So into the middle, and then just straight left. That's a strong-ass current. Is it strong enough, though? Will it take me the whole way there? Please work, please work, please work. Yes! Yes, thank you. Master of the Wind. Master of the Wind, indeed. The rules of that one were slightly ambiguous, but, meh. That was fun. I did enjoy it. It was different. Shai Yota's Blessing. What do you bless me with, Shai Yota? A great flame blade. Oh, bother. I will replace this flame spear. Actually, is it... Do I have anything crappier? I should double check. Oh, yeah. Dragon Bone Boko Spear. Or the Throwing Spear. Uh, yeah, the Throwing Spear. <laughs> Screw that one. Alright. One more out of the way, guys. We need five more shrines now to reach our goal, guys. Four more if you don't count the Blood Moon one that we pretty much know we'll be getting when the time comes. So, that is the last of the cast ones, though. I am pretty sure. I could be wrong, but I feel like I've pretty much exhausted those. So now it's going to be about just picking out spots that we haven't really explored all that well. And going exploring. I think I am going to teleport to Varuda here and just head south to Trotter's Downfall and check out Lanayru Heights and that whole spot right there. Hi, Varuda. Long time no see. Been having fun? Just standing here, totally immobilized for the last 100 hours, <laughs> not really doing anything or serving any purpose at all. I don't mean to talk shit. I understand you're going to help me out when I eventually fight Ganon. I don't exactly know what that entails just yet, but it should be nice all the same, I suppose. Ah. <sighs> So, Shrine Sensor should be on. Shika Sensor. Yep, set to Shrines. So, if there's one around here, hopefully we'll be alerted to it. I think at this point, we are definitely at, like, rock bottom in terms of direction in this game. <laughs> I have no other leads to go on for Shrines, guys, other than blank areas of the map. But even that's not a ton to go on. It's just, you know... A starting point but there's nothing that says we're gonna find anything in any of those areas because 
This game is just weird like that sometimes. Here's a guy just chilling. Trotter's downfall. The Trotter's downfall. Hinox. Um, we'll stick that kind of pin there. So let's give him a fun wake up call, shall we? I think I can kill him even without using the lightning. Is that it? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> far, far, far too easy. See, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like, aren't there silver Henoxes in this game? Shouldn't they have presented themselves by now? Because I feel like there should be a challenging level of those things. Like, even at this point, when I'm like totally maxed out and have all these amazing weapons. There should be some way for them to still challenge me, you know? <sighs> but no matter. Um, hmm. Which bow to drop, guys? Which bow to drop? I guess the one I'm using. Right. Thanks for the nice weapon refills. If nothing else, you're still cool for that. <laughs> I would like to find another silver Lionel somewhere, guys. Because I really only found the one so far. I was hoping they would be, like, not everywhere, but maybe a little bit more frequent once I had found the last level of Lionel. I don't want them showing up as often as, like, you know, the Yiga dudes. But I also wouldn't cry if they just replaced, like, every single Lionel in the game with a silver one. Once you reach a certain point. Oh, damn it. Didn't see him. Didn't see him, guys. Huh, <sighs> no pings. Okay, and that down there, I believe, is an area we've explored before. Yeah. Let's head a little east of here. With the sensor on, we don't need to hit every square inch of the map. We just need to get a good portion of all of it. If that made sense. <laughs> just kind of paint it, you know? In broad strokes. Make sure that we were close enough to every square inch that, theoretically, the sensor would have gone off. Although the range on it... It's been, like, fairly consistent, but not... 100%? <laughs> Sometimes it tells you that there's a shrine there through, like, 18 kilometers of mountain from, like, the other side of the mountain, and then sometimes it just feels like it popped up out of nowhere, like, oh shit. There's a shrine right here, who knew? I remember this spot, guys. This down here was one of the first Lionels I ever fought. Well, actually, I don't... I, I guess you can't even say I fought him. <laughs> I ran from him. Because he was very strong. And he was sniping me from, like, really far away. And it was infuriating. This is also where we found one of the first memories. Is that... Oh, that I think that is a silver one, though. I think it is. I need... Nope. I need this. Sil yep. Silver Lionel. It's time. We are going to fuck this guy's mother. And we're going to do it wearing our best armor, if I can locate it. <laughs> uh, here we go. Champion's tunic, amber earrings, soldier's greaves. Such a hodgepodge of armor. <laughs> but it's what we got to work with. And you know what? Come to think of it. Okay. I'm going to try something here. I'm gonna see if we can just straight up ice this dude with a single ancient arrow. Yeah. Oh, but he doesn't drop loot that way! Oh, no! Oh. Oh. Oh, I just owned myself, guys. The Let's Player who owned himself. The dude, Long Couch Story. 
Oh, well, that's good to know. So yeah, if I'm ever in a jam and I'm just like, fuck this, I can just take those guys out with a single ancient arrow. But it's not the thing you should do. Because <laughs> the whole reason I care about fighting those guys still is for their loot. Fuck. Mm. Well, now I know. Now I know. I think there's really nothing else around this area that matters. Uh, we could go straight. Yeah, we should probably get to, like, the peak of Awakening. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot I was on that mode. Nope, let's set a waypoint for, like, right there. Just get to the top of that peak. And see if anything catches our interest. And let's go ahead and get our speed boost back. That 10 minute potion I had taken is already gone. But it might not be that helpful here because I'm going to be climbing a mountain, so... I'm going to take another one right now. Dragon! I hear a dragon. Oh, hello. Dude, dude, he's close. I can definitely get a claw from this. Okay, come here. Come here. There we go. Easy shot. Easy shot right there. Oh, 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 god damn. Damn you, Nadra. That hurt. That hurt like a bitch. <laughs> he froze me in midair and there was nothing I could do about it. It's like, have fun plummeting to your death, bitch. <laughs> Nadra's claw. This valuable claw was plucked from the blue spirit. Nadra, it was freezing cold before it was removed. You could sell it, but there must be some other use for it. Yeah, I don't know what... I don't know why I can get that. <laughs> Haven't needed it for a quest. Maybe it's another... Oh, is that the good potion one? Yeah, I think that, that guarantees you like a 30 minute potion. No, that was the horn. That was the horn that did that. I don't know what the claw does, guys. Maybe both the horn and the claw give you a good potion. Why not? It's a very awkward spot to be fighting him. <laughs> also, I guess I should heal. I guess. I don't know. After Nadra just straight up iced me, some might say. <laughs> Get it, guys? Because it's an ice dragon. <sighs> um... Oh, you know, it'd be smarter to eat all these first. Clear up spaces. And these two. Yeah. Okay. Good to go. Is there another one? Somebody just shot an arrow at me. I swear to God, I just heard the clink of an arrow land next to me. Am I going crazy, guys? Am I actually losing my mind? That could be happening. It's a distinct possibility. It's gonna get cold up here too, isn't it? Ooh, oh, oh, I saw that one! I saw that cricket, it was right in front of me! And the fucker disappeared before I could grab him. That's infuriating. Well, I know there's not a shrine up here. But maybe we can see stuff from up here. Let's just try. And it's cold. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, I doubt I'll be able to see a shrine that I haven't done yet. It could happen, it's just not likely at this point. Over there's the, the Akala Tech Lab. <laughs> yes, I know I'm dying from the cold. I just don't care that much. This is unhelpful. This didn't do anything for me. Fuck! Alright, where are we going from here? Well, we could just head a little south. 
We should go down to like Mount Rizzuto. Yeah, look at this. There's a big ass portion of unexplored stuff here. Courage Step. Everything from like Tough Mountain up to the Cliffs of Quince. <laughs> Okel's Navel. <laughs> Who the hell is Okel? Why is there a little lake named after his navel? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's head a little bit Oh, uh, what would it be? Southwest from here? And just keep going in that direction. There's huge swaths of unexplored land. Straight this way. So let's we'll keep going. We'll have to thread the needle between the stuff we've already done. Which is a lot of it. There's some stuff down underneath that stuff. Ooh, I think I remember that, guys. I think I was pissed when I fell down there. Yeah, because I was I was on my way to the tower for that area so long ago, and then I fell down through that spot. I think there's a Hinox down there. Or that could be another spot altogether. Who knows? So many memories. At some point, they all just kind of jumble together. That's what it's like getting old. It's like having everything that makes you you just kind of blending together into one big jumble of bullshit in your brain until you can't recognize anything. The dementia sets in. The memories don't matter anymore. Look at that. All the fucking way over there we can see the horse god when we're like 80 miles away from it. <laughs> that's... That's slightly... angering to me. <laughs> Like, now you dicks want to come back. Pebblets? Uh, uh, uh. I really want to break one of these guys on another guy, but it's so hard to set up. Okay. Nope. They just get too close to you. There's a very satisfying little explosion they have, though, when they blow up. All right, so where are we now? Ooh. Lots of land down there. A little bridge. Some stuff. Ah, oh, where am I going? Let's go south to Opal's Navel. <laughs> I just want to just want to see what that area is all about. It's probably a Korok there or something, if nothing else. But now I'm going to get fucked. I won't be able to climb this. Yep. This is perfect. I am going to get fucked. Let's see if I can keep myself from getting fucked, guys. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Climber's gear really should be like my default while I'm running around anyway. Oh, just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. This is doable. It is... No! Ah! Oh, so close! No! God damn it. <sighs> Why, though? Why is it like this? I could have taken a stamina potion and made damn sure I would make it, but I just didn't want to. I wanted to do it myself, guys. This is somehow your fault. And you must die for it. Okel, Okel. I'm trying to think if that's a reference to something else, some other game. I don't remember anybody named Okel. Okel, Urkel. Professor Oak. Is there a dude named Okel in Pokemon? I don't play Pokemon, so I wouldn't know. I know there's a dude named Professor Oak, right? <laughs> Is Okel like his nephew or something? Oh, hello there. Told you guys there'd be a Korok here. <laughs> Nailed it. But nothing else, sadly. Other than Luminous Stones that I, frankly, barely even care enough to go break. I think I'm just going to keep moving. 